Good afternoon, I'm Randy Rash. I'm Dean of the College of Nursing, and I'd like to welcome you to the Michigan State University College of Nursing Senior Send Off. On behalf of the faculty and the staff of the College of Nursing, I want to thank everyone who has joined us today. This journey would not have been possible without the support of parents, guardians, sponsors, and family. So I'd like to first take a moment to recognize those loved ones who have supported our graduates through their nursing program. Unprecedented circumstances have brought us together today to celebrate the accomplishments of our graduating seniors in an unusual format. However, we believe despite the circumstances, it is important to recognize the significance of the moment these graduates cease, to, when these graduates cease to be our students and instead become our colleagues. Colleagues who will selflessly care for their patients during what may be likely the most difficult times of their professional career. Today, we celebrate the graduates of the traditional bachelors of not science and nursing program and the Accelerated Bachelor of Science in Nursing program. At the end of this semester, each of these students will have completed didactic and clinical coursework to meet all of the requirements for a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. We are pleased that each of these graduates have chosen the nursing profession, and we are proud to have them represent Michigan State University to be Spartan nurses. They are a part of a proud tradition of over 60 years of Spartan nurses, contributing to the healthcare of citizens worldwide. Dr. Teresa Werwein, Interim Associate Dean for Academic Affairs, will now recognize members of the graduating class who've gone above and beyond inside and outside of the classroom. Good afternoon. I join with Dr. Rash in welcoming all of you to this event and congratulating our Spartan nurses. As a fellow Spartan nurse, I am particularly proud of this class as you move forward in this totally unprecedented time. You have come forward through the last semester of your career with incredible grace and dignity, stress under fire, showing what you've been out showing us for the last three years about the quality of your Spartan skills. Spartan nurses are known to demonstrate exemplary leadership in both the classroom and the professional community. We're going to take a minute now to recognize just a few of those students who have exhibited noteworthy leadership in scholarship and service. First, let us take the opportunity to honor a member of the senior class who will be commissioned as an officer in the United States military following graduation. Please join me in recognizing Grace Garno, who will be commissioned in the Michigan National Guard as a second lieutenant on May 1st. Her position with the Guard will be nurse case manager for the medical unit. She will finish getting credentialed as a nurse case manager for the Guard after passing NCLEX and basic officer leader training corps in San Diego, excuse me, San Antonio. She's gone to Texas. Because Grace will be in the National Guard as a part-time soldier, she will also have a civilian job and plans to work in the Grand Rapids area. Congratulations, Grace. It, we thank you for the service you have already given to the National Guard and that you will do as a commissioned officer. Every year, the Michigan State University Board of Trustees recognizes those graduates who have the highest scholastic achievement. This year, all recipients of the Board of Trustees Award have earned a perfect 4.0 through the end of fall semester 2020. Of the 92 seniors across the entire graduating class of the university, Two are here in the College of Nursing. We recognize our own, Brittany Cesarek and Anna Manning, graduates from the traditional Baccalaureate of Science and Nursing program, who were awarded this honor. We are very proud of both of them. Every semester, students in our traditional Bachelor of Science Nursing program select one student who inspires their fellow classmates and fosters positive energy in the classroom with the College of Nursing Spirit Award. Our spring semester 2020 Spirit Award winner is Maddie Falk. Maddie is graduating from the traditional program. Congratulations, Maddie. The final student to be recognized this afternoon is the winner of the Outstanding Student Award. This year, in collaboration 
with the MSU Federal Credit Union, we are able to provide both a plaque, which will be coming down the road when we can get it out of the office and give it to you, and a check, which will not be virtual, we guarantee you, to the outstanding student. Students are nominated by their faculty and their peers and selected by the undergraduate program committee. The recipient will receive that plaque when we can, and will, is also the person who we have asked to speak on behalf of the class today. Please join me in congratulating and welcoming to the microphone, Johnny Choi, the outstanding student of the class of 2020. He was selected with many accomplishments, and I want to just outline a few of them before he takes over speaking. Johnny has come into the nursing program wanting to serve his community, wanting to deal with the disparity he sees among those in his community. He has started already to work full time in an extern role at Ascension Health at a COVID unit while completing his studies over the last few weeks and plans to continue to move forward in his nursing career to take care of those who cannot take care of themselves to move forward the disadvantage. We are proud of Johnny's accomplishments and we have been so grateful to have him working with us on this, the undergraduate program committee, the research committee, and the student advisory council, as well as serving at the university on the hearing board. He is an active leader among his peers, a great spokesperson for nursing. Congratulations, Johnny, and it's now time for you to say a few words. Thank you, Dr. Warline, for those kind words. And congratulations to Grace, Brittany, Anna, and Maddie on your awards. Um, my name is Johnny Choi, and I'm the recipient of the Outstanding Student Award. I am truly grateful and humbled to receive this honor. I want to thank my family, friends, peers in my cohort, and the faculty at the College of Nursing for supporting and encouraging me while at Michigan State. You all have allowed me to pursue my dreams and make my passion for healthcare a reality. My time at the College of Nursing has been nothing short of incredible because of the friendships among faculty and peers, the opportunities to grow, and the vision of what it means to be a Spartan nurse. First, to the faculty, you all have a passion for teaching and want students to be caring, well-rounded nurses and leaders. You expect the best and I've become a more ambitious student thanks to your work. Next, to the 2020 Spring BSN cohort, congratulations. You all are amazing. Graduating from this rigorous program truly took a collective effort, and I could not be prouder of what we have accomplished. One memory I recall from my introduction to professional nursing course was taught by a passionate faculty member, Kathy Forrest. On the first day of clinical, Kathy said to us, the nurses in this room will not only do great things, but will be your best friends for the rest of your life. I couldn't have agreed with her more. The friendships I have made in my cohort and with the faculty are some that I will cherish forever. This program has offered me and other students extraordinary opportunities. And those opportunities have molded us into excellent nurses, people, and leaders. For me, some of those experiences included traveling to a regional conference with faculty to present my research, having a study published, serving on multiple nursing leadership committees, confronting the reality of racial and class health disparities, caring for underserved populations, and benefiting from faculty pushing every student to be their best self. Through my experiences, I've learned to navigate adversity, collaborate with others, and realize my dreams can become a reality. Lastly, I would like to speak on behalf of our cohort of what it means to be a Spartan nurse. A Spartan nurse is someone who nurtures, empowers, and advocates for their patients. We are nurses who have a passion for meeting the community needs of empathy and compassion. We push ourselves to be extraordinary bedside nurses, to pursue graduate programs, and to expand our roles outside of the hospital. We learn and adapt to adversity to find resilience. We are nurses who will make a difference in every patient's experience and provide them with the kind of care that allows to them to enjoy whole, healthy lives. Although circumstances for graduation and commencement are not what we imagined, our time will come to celebrate together in person. But today, as future healthcare professionals, 
We are entering a pandemic stricken healthcare field unlike ever before. We are being called to step up in this intimidating crisis. Although daunting, I have the utmost trust and confidence that this cohort is up for the challenge. We have been prepared to be the strongest, brightest, and most caring nurses who will tackle this healthcare crisis with intelligence, vigor, and bravery. I look forward to the day when we have our cohort reunion and I get to see for myself how we as leaders have changed the world around us for the better. Until that day, Spartan nurses will. Thank you very much. Thank you, Johnny. Uh, you've summarized so many of the things I've been thinking, especially about this particular class, who has been here at a time that's unprecedented in terms of this pandemic. And I can't tell you how much it um, thrills me to hear reports from the community about how this group of students have shown up in various ways in, in this pandemic. Um, so anyway, with that, at this time, we'll have a short slideshow presentation that's dedicated to our graduates. Go green. Go white. Go white. Go white. Go white. There we go. One of the things I always love doing at commencement is to say that and hear the entire class yell back, go white. So I'm looking forward to the time that we may be able to do that. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge the COVID-19 pandemic that is affecting millions of people across the world today. And those of our fellow citizens who've lost the battle with this. And I'd like to take a moment just to stop and reflect on those who've lost the battle and to remember those that all of you will be out taken care of, of in terms of this and other health challenges that patients will have that you come in contact with. So if we could just take a moment to remember that. Thank you. 
I'll also say that um, maybe at some point when we do graduation, the faculty all know that I, there's a point that I always end up crying. <laughs> and it's about um, talking about our graduates going out to serve because those of us who've been doing it for so long, you know what it means to serve. But to look back on a lifetime of service at different stages, we really have a sense of what it is that you're contributing. So, in advance, I want to thank you for that as well. On March 11th, President Stanley suspended face-to-face -face instruction in lectures, seminars, and classroom settings and moved coursework to virtual instruction. This suspension of in-person classes created challenges for both our students and for our faculty. However, the grit and resilience that are our Spartan nursing students have shown in completing their degrees despite this difficult circumstances has been truly remarkable. Nurses are on the front lines of this pandemic, and we know that out of Spartan, that our Spartan nurses are well-educated, hardworking, and have the determination to make a difference in this global pandemic. The faculty, staff, and I couldn't be prouder of our spring 2020 graduates. The College of Nursing is committed to offering our graduates a formal in-person pinning ceremony. The pinning ceremony is time-honored nursing is a is a time-honored nursing program tradition, and the College of Nursing truly appreciate the time, effort, and dedication that our graduates have put in their education to receive their degree and their pin. The symbolism behind the nursing pin represents the journey they have taken and we have the utmost respect for what it means to them. Unfortunately, at this time, we, not, we cannot predict the date of our ceremony, but once we have more information, we will follow up with graduates. And I hope that you will really um, think about the opportunity of coming back for that particular ceremony. Um, thank you for your patience and understanding as we navigate these unprecedented times together. And the thing I'll tell you about the, the College of Nursing pen is that every school has a unique pen. So your pen as a nurse and graduate of this program is unique to being a Spartan nurse. On behalf of the College of Nursing, faculty and staff, congratulations to our graduates, their friends, families, and loved ones. And as Spartan nurses, we know that you will represent the College of Nursing and the nursing profession with high integrity as you provide exemplary health care. At this time, I will turn it over to Dr. Kelly Britton and Dr. Christine Rose to provide instruction for the Senior Scholarly Project presentation. And again, congratulations and go green. Go white. Go white. Go white. Go white. Go white.